we were able to grab a couple of more circulated penny box for this penny hunt and fill episode. This is going to be episode 47, and we've got boxes 80 and 81 to hunt to hopefully find some goodies for the album. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. As many of you know, we're on the quest to complete a Lincoln Penny album through just coin roll hunting bank boxes of pennies. Now that being said, if you're new to my channel or new to the series, please consider checking out the playlist I have linked both down below in the video description as well as pinned up here for your convenience. For those of you already caught up, you know that we've hunted 79 boxes so far and we have 183 out of 234 cents slotted. That being said, it has been rough lately finding anything for the book, especially in the 30s and earlier. Now, everything in the more modern years is slotted except for a couple of small dates. And of course, we have a couple of steel cents that are tough to get. But from 1939D and back, man, it's been several episodes without any finds for the book, although we have found some great cents. Now, many of you know I've been struggling also getting circulated boxes, so I always pop my box tops to make sure I have them and I do and at a quick glance I didn't see anything that was super exciting hopefully there's some good stuff inside I'm going to go ahead and slide this out of the way we're going to begin the hunt immediately and hopefully we find a good amount of weed sense but more importantly something for the book in these boxes I'll see you if and when we have a first find we're on roll number seven, and the first wheat scent of the box is going to be an Ender, and I think it's a 46D. I try to take a peek, but not exactly sure. Let's crack into it, verify it, and see if there's friends with it. That wheat scent Ender is indeed a 1946 Denver. Gets us on the board. Roll number 12, wheat scent number two. Hoping by the reverse, it's an oldie. Let's take a peek but it's just gonna be a 1945 Philadelphia. Roll number 13, another wheat scent. This wheat scent is a 1956 Denver. Wheat scent number three. Roll number 19 is gonna have wheat scent number four and it's our second ender of the box, 1958. So a couple of enders, maybe the box will heat up and give us 10 or more wheat scents and maybe something for the book. That wheat scent ender for number four is, in fact, a 58 Philly. Roll number 22, wheat scent number five. Facing us is another 1945 Philadelphia. Roll number 30, wheat scent number six. This one is going to be a 1951 Denver. Roll number 34, wheat scent number seven. Wheat scent seven, another 45p. That's odd. Well, roll number 39 is going to have our third wheat scent ender of the box. Unfortunately, even though we're going to have our third wheat scent ender, it's only going to be wheat scent number eight. And typically, if I have more than a couple of wheat scent enders, we have about 15 or 20 wheat scents. Let's see what it is, and let's see if the box gets hot for the last 11 rolls. That Weedy Ender, number eight of the hunt. It's been definitely cleaned. And that's a 1946 Denver again. So basically, half of the wheat scents, more than half the wheat scents, have been 45 P's and 46 D's. Roll number 42. Wheat scent number nine is going to be a 1953 Denver. Roll 49. We have made 10 wheat scents for box number one. And that's a 1950 Philly. Well, we finished box one and we did get double digit wheat scents, but nothing older than 1945. And considering three enders, I thought we'd see a little bit more than 10. I'm not mad at it though. 10's a good number. We have another box to go. We actually did pretty good on the Copper Cup, about halfway full. And ironically, after 46 rolls, I was thinking we have no foreigns, 59s, or 69 S's. And in roll 47, we actually got all three, one of each, not the DDO, of course, for the 69S, but I'll take it. Box one down. We'll move on to box two, and I'll bring you guys in if and when we have a find in that box. 
Roll number 51 of the hunt, or the first roll of box two, and we've got a wheat scent for number 11. And it's a 1944S, and that's the oldest wheat scent so far of the hunt with an S mint mark. Roll number 53, wheat scent number 12. Slid down, and it's a 1948 Denver. Roll number 54, wheat scent number 13. This box is starting off pretty hot. And this one's going to be another 1946, and I think it's Denver. It is 46D. We'll take it. Roll number 55, staying with the hot streak. We have wheat scent number 14. It's a little bit damaged, but it's a 58 Denver. Roll number 62, wheat scent number 15. And that's the new oldest. 1942. I can't see if it's an S or a D. It's an S. And that's why I couldn't tell. It has a little bit of yellow in there. But 42S. We're getting to the 30s, but not quite there yet. Although we'll take a 42S all day. Roll 68 is going to produce wheat scent number 16 of the hunt. 58 Denver. Roll number 73. Wheat scent number 17. And I think that's a 53 Philadelphia. It is. Well, we're on roll number 94, and it's been eons since our last weed scent. But we finally have one. Unfortunately, it's in the 40s again. 1946 Philadelphia. And that makes weed scent number 18 of the hunt. Same roll, and we're going to have a twofer. And I'm hoping, as I always say, that this is an oldie. It looks like it could be. And it is. Is that a 1918S? Yes, it is. 1918S. I know we have a lot of the 18s and 19s, but I don't know if we have an 18S. Either way, it's good to see an oldie. Finally, we'd sent number 19, and I hope we need it for the book. Well, that's going to do it for that two-box hunt. These were local boxes from my DFW area. We've been struggling on my local boxes lately, but we have been finding stuff here and there, but just nothing in the 30s. Either way, we got 19 wheat scents. Most of them, well, almost all of them, 18 out of 19 were 50s and 40s. We did have that 18S, which I'll check against the book. I pulled aside a couple of decent 82D large date zinc scents. I can't remember if mine's nice or not. But neither of those are really bright red. Either way, though, I don't see them very often. Also had a 1970S with some perfect placed damage on the 9. And it does have a weak strike. I'm going to scope that later on to see if that's a small date. I need to check the die markers. I don't think it is, but man, it's a close call. Two Canadians, only 159 in my area, and two 69Ss, no DDOs. On top of that... We didn't get much copper in the last half of that box and not that many wheat scents. I think only two in the last like 20 something rolls. So the copper got low, the wheat scents got low, but we got a teens. Let me go ahead and check the finds against the album, see if we have any additions or upgrades, and I'll bring you back in with some final thoughts. Well, I've compared the finds to the album and guess what? We did not have an 18S. So now we do. And we can complete one more spot in the book. And for those wondering, that 70S was not a small date. I did check the diagnostics. We do not have a small date found still. But I wanted to double check it before I eliminated it. Although I was pretty certain it wasn't. But I wanted to make sure. That being said, one more cent added. Now puts us at 184 out of the 234 spots filled in the book which means we only need 50 more after 81 boxes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this two box penny hunt and fill episode. I know I had fun going through it. I would have loved to have seen more older scents, but 19 Wheaties in two boxes is nothing to get that mad at, especially with an album slaughter. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.